Yo, good morning or afternoon people. So I'm in central London, Waterloo Road. And yeah, like last night when I arrived here, I saw two guys try and rob an Uber rider. Like, you know, I was making jokes like, oh, if I come to Central, I better pack my bulletproof vest and all this stuff. Yeah, I live out in Hounslow, so I live out west. And see, I'm even looking over my shoulder now. I'm pretty paranoid about having my phone snatched here. And I was making jokes about this to the friend I went to meet. And lo and behold, as soon as I got off the tube at Waterloo, across the road, and there was two guys trying to rob a, an Uber rider straight up. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know if I just jinxed it for myself, but yeah, I mean, I basically just want to ask, is London even safe anymore? You know, I mean, Hounslow is what it is, where I live, it's what it is. But it's, to me, it's not that bad. But this being Westminster and on the border of, you know, you've got Southwark and you've got Lambeth, which is basically Peckham and Brixton. I'm just wondering if it's even okay to hold my phone and blog the way I do in most countries. But. I don't know, leave your comments. But anyways, I'm heading off to Elephant Castle because I saw some other YouTuber, a guy called Volpe or something like that, he's a Venezuelan. I'll leave the link in the description, interesting guy. And he went there and he's a Latin guy. He's from Venezuela originally, but American. And he showed a whole different like Latin neighborhood and it looked kind of amazing. So I want to go have a look for myself because I've spent time in Latin America. I've been in Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic so I just want to see what's there and see how the community looks like as people who know me you know that I live in an Indian community in Hounslow which is very Indian very Asian so I want to see if this community matches up if it's got that strong vibe or not but anyway follow me but I ain't gonna lie I'm still pretty paranoid and it's not that I'm paranoid of where I'm going, it's just a whole general feeling I have in central London, or in most of London nowadays. Like, you know, I'm blogging, but you can see I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. I've always got my head on a swivel, you know, and I have to. I feel like nowadays it's just one of them things, you know, it's become the new normal. And that really sucks. That really sucks where in your own country you can't actually just walk freely without having to have your eyes on the back of your head, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm a paranoid person anyway, but I think here it's justified, so I'm in the right place. I mean, for now, I'm getting a kind of quiet vibe. I don't feel like there's much tension. But then again, when you're about to get robbed or whatever, you never know it's going to happen until it happens. That's the point. But I don't know. For now, it could be all right. But we'll see what happens anyway. But yeah, let me know your opinions, you know, let me know what you think. Anyone who's been to London, anyone who lives in London, what's your experience? Please share that with me. I'd like to know, in fact. And um, before anyone jumps on the whole right wing wagon and starts bashing, you know, immigrants, foreigners, all that, I'm not about all that, yeah? Like, you know, I'm, I like multiculturalism, yeah? I like it. I'm a traveler myself, I've been to 65 countries, I've been an immigrant myself, I've lived abroad, I've been an immigrant, so I, I relate to them people more than I relate to English a lot of the times. I've got nothing against people coming here making a better life, you know? What I'm against is, you know, the antisocial element, I'm against people that come, or even people who are already born here, whether white, black, whatever, and just messing up the place that's what i'm against you know it's like broken window theory one person breaks a window so everybody else thinks oh let's break the rest of them that's not right 